Auzubillahiminashaitwanurajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum We will continue reading the book of Targheeb by Dr. Ahmad uh, Sakar and <clears throat> we are on chapter 15 <clears throat> The title of the chapter is Credits After Credits In Arabic we call it Thawab Thamma Thawab Introduction <clears throat> Believers should recognize that there are many ways for earning credits, rewards, and blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Such earnings are open for all days and nights. They are for educated and non-educated, for right and poor, for adult and young, for Arabs and non-Arabs, and so on. All what it needs is that Muslims <coughs> should go and search how to earn blessings day after day whether they live in Mecca or they live in the USA. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves all people of the world and for that reason he created them and guided them. He encouraged them how to earn those blessings and credits. He does not need us but we human beings do need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we do need his mercy, his love, his kindness, his generosity, and his blessings. <clears throat> Different credits. One is the rendering services. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad <coughs> instructed Muslims to render different services so that they will receive rewards and blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In one of the hadith, the saying of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, and this is taken from uh, Rawa al-Muslim, Rawa al-Muslim, uh, <clears throat> and narrated by Abu Huraira, رضي الله تعالى uh, On every bone, on human beings, there should be a charity every day the sunrise. To do justice between two person is charity. To help a person on his animal so that you carry him on it or to transport his luggage is charity. The good word is charity. In every step you go to prayer is charity. And to remove the harm thing from the road is charity. <clears throat> so these were the words of Prophet Muhammad so we hope and pray that Muslims will try their best to live in peace and harmony. This can only be achieved when they observe their obligations and duties towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this was the first category of the sec uh, different credits and this, uh, which was the render first one was rendering services. The second one is another credit and rewards. There is a hadith, like another saying of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, that is narrated by Abu Huraira, that the Prophet Muhammad wasallam, said about those who attend the funeral prayer, <coughs> the following. So these are the words of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, whoever attends the funeral prayer till it is over, he will get credits from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala equal to one kirat. However, whoever stays till the dead person is buried, he will get two kirats. People ask the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what are those two kirat? He said that are similar to the great mountain of Uhud, like one of the mountain in Makkah. Uh, kirat is uh, uh, is the quantity, the way to quantify gold. <clears throat> so when you say oh, how many kirats this uh, necklace is, you say three kirat, four kirat, five kirat. Uh, so that is the reference about kirat. And it says the kirat that Prophet Muhammad wasallam was talking about was equal to the mountain of uh, one of the uh, mountain in Makkah called Uhud. Uh, 
No, the Uhud is uh, is in uh, in Medina. Sorry, yeah, one of the mountain in Medina in Saudi Arabia called Uhud. Uh, as one sees all that it takes very little effort and time, but one will get huge amount of credits and blessings from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So that was for attending the funeral, attending the burial, uh, the event of the burial of a person, especially Muslim. Uh, and staying there till the end, uh, <clears throat> till everybody is finished what they need to finish. So the third category in different credits is another series of blessings. In order to get the blessings and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in order to be under his protection during the day of judgment, in order to be under his light and shade from the sunshine, and in order to be under Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings, at that time, on the day of judgment, at that that moment, one has to be one of the following people who do something small but will get the maximum rewards. And this is the word. Uh, these are the words of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We call those words as hadith. And this is taken from. <clears throat> this is also uh, this is hadith number three hundred seventy four. Uh, when it is agreed upon. So the words of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that seven groups of people are under the shade of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala whereby there is no shade except his shade. A just Imam, uh, a, a just Imam, Imam who lead the uh, prayer for Muslims, a young person who raised in the obedience to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala a person whose heart is attached to masjid, to the mosque, like we are sitting right now. Two friends got to know one another for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when they departed, they stayed in touch for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A person was invited by a woman with, a, with position and beauty to have affairs with her, but to have affairs with her. He said, I fear Allah. A person gave a charity that his left hand did not know what his right hand spent. And a person remembered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he shed tears from his eyes. So this is the saying of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So those people will not suffer the heat of the sun. They will not lose their mental capacity. On the other hand, they will enjoy the mercy, the blessings, and the guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as to what they will be doing on that particular day. So the final remarks about this, top, uh, about this chapter is that there are no limits for credits and blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To earn such things, one has to have good intentions, and it should be for the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the sake of human beings, irrespective of color, nationality, ethnicity, gender, race, or religions. One has to render services without bragging or claiming anything. The more a person will render services privately, the more he or she will get more and more blessings, credits, and rewards in this life and in the hereafter. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless all of us and to guide us to do favors to others. Ameen, thumma ameen. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no deity except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And we will finish this chapter with these words. <coughs> thank you for staying and thank you. Uh, alhamdulillah, we'll meet again. Assalamu alaikum.